Well guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how the basics of Scratch. So I downloaded Scratch from the official website, and now this will we, we'll, I'll share the page of downloading macOS and Chrome and Android. You can download it from anywhere. So let's start. <laughs> currently on 3.29.1 of scratch so this is choose the language this is file you can load new file or save it you can edit uh, edit the file or restore the file over here and this is for the tutorials over here and then you can rename the project over here and then this is the help desk this is the core the place where code blocks are there there's costumes sounds etc and over here is the flag click flag button this is the stop button to, it stops the whole program start button the flag button helps to start the program and then this is used for coding this is the normal view and then this is the presentation mode and you can come out by over here and now at this section of the code we have motion looks sound event control sensing operators variables and my block and we can in over here is add extension of blocks <coughs> then this is costume you can add the costume of the sprite or edit it this is the sound where you can add sounds and over here is the place where we can write the code and then coming to the backdrop this is the sprite this is the backdrop and or background or we can also call it as stage this is sprite we can rename the sprite and x and y values these are the x and y values we can we can hide this hide the sprite and show the sprite over here and then you can set the size of the sprite and over here the direction so let's start with control i mean events so in events we can start the command over here so when flag clicked so when flag clicked when flag is clicked this is the flag button and when i click the flag it runs the project so when we flag click motion move 10 steps change it as to 400 it will go to the end now now is the same in event when space key pressed then I'll space it will go and same And when sprite clicked, also works the same. So if I click it, and then put over here, so it moves there. So then, then we will go to motion. When flag click, move four hundred steps, turn fifteen degrees. Then you can see it moves. It tilts a little. Then I'll make it as 90 again, back to 90. Then this is to move backwards, this is to move frontwards, and this is to go into a random X and Y position. This is to go to the X and Y, 
mentioned over here which I said the location over here to do that you need to drag the sprite the place where you want for example over here the people over here and then double click and then go to I recommend you glide as it is good so now I'm going to click at the top and then it will just go directly so now what glide does is like this and see so it makes it come here so point towards 90 degrees works same as it so now I, I put it as this side it is 0 and now if I want to make it as that side it's minus 45 so I will now over here I will click as like this and then you will see oh see that so I will set it back to that and then point towards where the pointer is so now it's same as it so now I'm gonna start and then over here I'm gonna start and over here so then if or edge or bounce then we can set the x and y position over here this says the sprites x and y position <coughs> then comes looks block so this is to think so think block if I click it as like this think hmm for two seconds so it gives the bubble effect and then if I give it as normal normal think it will be like it will take this much time and then if I switch the costume to two it will change its costume then next costume it changes to next costume then we can give it as change the size by 10 we change the size by 10 and set size to 100% we we'll make back we'll go back to its position so now clear graphic effect now over here same as over here, same as it show and hide now I'm gonna click on this show and hide the sprite disappears now we can click over here the see the costume number and show so this is another costume number and what first costume and then you can click on this size and backdrop then comes sound so the sprite can make a meow sound as you heard it and we can move and we can change the pitch of the sound And you can click over your clear sound effect. And then we can decrease the volume.
then you can set the volume to 100 percent you can see the volume is 80 percent and then you can put it as one so you can't hear it so then comes even even i have shown you what you can do and then comes wait for one second so now i will put this wait for one second 0.290 and then go to this so you can let me call this and hide so we're gonna put this guy over here so now we are gonna that side and this side before once again and you go back so then this is how wait for once again works now repeat repeat work like this and we put it as over here it takes it, it, it can repeat 10 times so we will put the repeat value as 2 times ok and then We'll go to motion block, then put it as glide back over here. Now I'm gonna go to the control box and repeat. It'll repeat two times as you can see. Then forever and then it makes repeats the block it helps in repeating the block like infinite times and then this is if then it's used uh, for sensing blocks and operators and then in control block we have this much I don't know about sensing and operators that much then if we come in variables we can click on make variable over here make the variable so we'll put it as demo and you can see the demo here so I've changed the demo by one so like that so we can make a variable we name it as score and change it by set score to thousand or whatever you want so now show variable hide variable and my variable my variable is the default which the uh, scratch makes while making the project my blocks also makes, makes the same you can put the block name as high then input as this number of text 6 and then ok and then we can create a new block once again block name we make it as block name as Win and then now you want at the highest point. Point of score, score you want, then okay, the forever blocks won't come back. 
for the flow. The forever block does not repeat. And then put it put the glide over here. And that's how you can make a scratch project. Now you can share the file over here and then where you can make code over here. This is a head desk. You can see the about section of the scratch version which you are using. <coughs> and then the privacy policy over here. And then you can go to data settings. And you can just see it over here. And close. Then this is the official website of Scratch. And the starting page of Scratch, you can get many featured projects, featured studio, and project created by any person you follow. And this is about Scratch. There are many branches of Scratch over here. The Scratch Education, Scratch Junior. Scratch Day, Scratch Conference, etc. etc. You can download the link of downloading will be there in the description. So you can log in by over here. Account settings you can change it anywhere. And then your ideas. You can also get if you don't want to install the application, you can create it in your website too. It's same as the same it's same as your scratch desktop. So you can add turbo mode over here and do your project anytime. Also you can publish your project anywhere. You can also project your you can also publish your project and then you can see your backpack over here backpack feature and the publishing feature in the internet is not available in this in the app desktop application of 3.29.1 this is the folders or the thing which you created so that's all we have in scratch for For now, scratch is finished and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till, till then, 